Okay, so now we're going to do aldehydes. Um, they're not too bad to do. So an aldehyde is basically a ketone at the end of a carbon chain. So where we had a ketone, oh, that's way too big. So where we have a ketone, we have I bound to a carbonyl group. Well, we have a carbonyl group. And then we have that carbon bound to another carbon and another carbon. Uh, this is a ketone. So for our, our aldehydes, we have it only bonded to one carbon and a hydrogen. Or two hydrogens. But two hydrogens only occurs once. All right. Um, and these hydrogens may or may not be shown. So, okay, so let's do an example. Oh, no. All right. So, uh, let's see. Let's say we have that. First thing you do is figure out how many carbons are in your chain. And in this case, there's four. So what you're going to name this, or you would name it, butane, if it were a straight hydrocarbon chain with no functional groups. But because there's an aldehyde, you change the ending E to Al. So this is butanol. Um, okay, sometimes you'll see this hydrogen written in. Sometimes it won't be. It's the same thing. All right, so what is this? This is entirety is a compound. You see you count the groups here. Uh, which is, you have one group, which is a methyl, so you normally call it methane, um, but because it's an aldehyde, you change any to AL, so this is a methanol. Um, so you should also know that this is also called formaldehyde. Uh, something I forgot to mention back in the ketone video, if you're watching this in series, um, a structure looks like this. This is called propan 2 ohn or 2 <coughs> propanone. You also should know that uh, this is called acetone. That's kind of irrelevant sidetrack stuff. Um, so as far as aldehydes go, that's pretty much it. So let's give you one more example here. So we're going to have... Okay, so let's name this. So first of all, you want to identify your chain. Simple enough. You have one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, four carbon, five carbon. And again, always start numbering from your carbonyl carbon of your aldehyde. See, there is a functional group hanging off of the third carbon. We know that this is a ketone, so we'll worry about that later. So first of all, this is, you would call this a pentane, if it were just an alkane. But because it's an aldehyde, it's pentanal. And now you have a ketone on the third group. If you remember, it's going to be uh, 3-oxopentanal. We a name for this. 
Okay, that, that's pretty much it for aldehydes. Um, phew. next we'll probably do amines.